How's it going, Jamie? Hi, Mike. How you doing? Just so this is it, huh? This is it. This is to do your cycle testing. All right. Well, let's get her all hooked up and see how she works. Okay, Mike. Your uh, fatigue tester or cycle tester that we want to do. Uh, I'm sure in the uh, fixture can properly mount your uh, cameras. So I'm just plugging them in here and I'll turn it on. I was running this last night and uh, last night I got about 48,955 counts. So we'll turn this on and continue the counting process. So all we have here is a simple counter that counts how many cycles that were open and closing your latch uh, that, that uh, holds the camera in your mouth. And this is just simply a motor drive that's of course actuating the uh, fixture there. So how long did it uh, take you to actually uh, build this little contraption here? <laughs> well, it, certainly aesthetics isn't there, but functionality, I believe it's uh, doing what we need it to do. Uh, it only took a couple hours with some of the parts that I had laying around the, uh, the uh, house last night. Now, the, um, I notice how we're kind of pulling on that. Um, so it was in this configuration all night long to get the, uh, was it, what are we up to now for counts? We're up to uh, 49,026, going on 28 counts. And what we're trying to prove is the fatigue of opening and closing the uh, clasp, if you will, that actually locks the camera to the mouth uh, to ensure that this, this piece here doesn't break. Okay, it looks like I think we've got it, so we'll spend the rest of the night just letting her click away and see what happens. Thanks, okay. Jamie, for everything. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll give you a call tomorrow and see how we make out. Okay, you're welcome. All right, thanks. Okay, so here we are um, running this small exercise to actually determine how many times we can move this back and forth before it would finally break. What we've discovered, this has actually been running since uh, six o'clock this morning. Um, Jamie, had, um, who we had met earlier, was running this at his uh, facility. Then he brought it over here. It had about 45,000 uh, clicks on it. And we've run another 20,000 pulls. And we're just now starting to see a fatigue area uh, where it actually broke at 65,000 poles. And the reason why we're doing this is because you're constantly doing this uh, to open and close and actually put the camera in. So uh, when you get these rigs, they, they are very tight when you first get them because we know that they're gonna loosen up a little bit. So you just kind of push slightly, that pushes the camera into place, and then you push the ring around the rest of the way and then snap it in. So that makes sure that you got a really snug, solid fit and the camera won't move anywhere. This is why when you buy this, you also get um, a little tiny 360 hero screwdriver just to help. And once you can push on here and try to pull this up with your finger, but sometimes it's just a little tight to be able to do that. So if you just push in slightly and you slide the screwdriver in underneath it, um, it allows you to open that. So there's where we're getting that action here and this is what we wanted to simulate uh, during this demo.